Well, the kids are asleep. So when should we tell them? Maybe tomorrow. I don't think holding off will make it any easier. Yeah, you're probably right. The most important thing is that they know that we still love them. Yeah, and that this isn't their fault. Yes. Even though, kind of is their fault. Oh, yeah. Oh, big time. I mean, Becca did a number on me, but Teddy absolutely ruined this. Total destruction. I mean, the before and after that situation, it's on par with Katrina. This one's this beautiful city. The birthplace of jazz and jambalaya. And then... We had them. The levees broke, the Superdome was flooded, and it's time to send in the National Guard. We will rebuild. And I mean, if it weren't for the kids, yeah, I wouldn't have had to work so late. Do you late. remember how much we spent on that allergist? You know, it's funny to think that people used to be so afraid of their kids coming out as gay. I, I, I never understood it until we found out Becca was allergic to peanuts. No races, no Uncrustables. Judge me all you want. I just don't approve of that lifestyle. There were some good times, though. Ah, oh, there really were. You know, honey, this may sound crazy, and I don't know, maybe it's just the Mickey's talking, but what would you think about giving this, gi giving us, one more shot? Really? Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't work out, whatever. We're already divorced. Uh, honey. No. Oh my god, of course not. You cheated on me, remember? Oh shit, yeah. With my best oh, friend. I totally forgot, my bad. You know what's funny about that? What? Where did you meet Karen? In Lamaze class. In Lamaze class. I didn't even think of so that. So it's like, if it weren't for Teddy? You wouldn't have even cheated. Wow, so it really is all their fault. It really is, it really is. <sighs> Fuck them.